Yeah, you, you referenced a number of times the, the the amount of media in the courtroom. Do you feel like the, the defense is trying this case in the media for attention? I think it's pretty obvious that some arguments are made to play out to the media and to, to, to make some inflammatory arguments that have no basis in law, no basis in fact even, just to get the attention of the electorate out there. Clearly, that's what's going on. But I'm glad that we have a judge here who is reasonable, who is prudent, who listens to the, law, uh, to the facts, listens to the evidence, and rules according to the law, to, to case law that's on the books. We have a good judge here, uh, and I think that's what the state of Texas uh, uh, wants for this kind of case, uh, and that's what they're getting. And so I'm very, very satisfied that, at least from the judge's standpoint, that they're not going to fall for some of these red herrings that were thrown out by the defense lawyers in this case. Has the judge given any indication of whether he's going to stay on the case now that he's been elected to the Court of Criminal Appeals? Yeah, he's indicated to both of us that at least it's a position at this point to stay on the case. That could change, but uh, at least for now he's going to stay on the case. And Mr. Busby was arguing that you should have signed your anti-bribery statement first before taking your oath. Uh, what is your response to that, and what are your thoughts? You know, uh, I signed it at the same time. I think the facts, I'm not shying away from the facts. My position is that it just doesn't negate my authority. Those are issues. The, the, the reason for the statement of interest is to make sure that I'm promising that I'm not accepting any bribes or I don't have a financial motive in this investigation, which is clearly the case. Again, that's a red herring. And it clearly does not negate my authority uh, to act in this case. Did you sign that before uh, you were sworn in or after? You said the same time. The affidavit's clear that I signed that document a minute or two after I took the oath. Okay. I'm not, I'm not uh, hiding from that fact. I'm not ashamed of that fact. The point is, is that I have the authority, I took the oath, and I'm proceeding forward.